All right. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Fields of Dreams. So, simple coach and a couple simple players are going to spend some time down at uh, our beach house and uh, down in, on the Jersey Shore. And lo and behold, it just so happened to venture onto the campus of Stockton University. So, I'm going to wander, do my thing, check this out. I think the only thing on this end, from what I can tell, are dorms. And that, uh, you know, I'm going to drive around to the main campus. But up here, I don't know if you can see them, they're like these two-story dorms. The only reason why I decided to get out and check this out is because there's a big, big lake on the campus. And so I was hoping I could get a good gl glimpse of it. Like I guess I'd take some pictures. Oh, look, a gazebo. And, you know, this is pretty close to Atlantic City. And, you know, the beaches. And so, hey, beach volleyball. Anyhow, I'm going to start wandering, taking some pictures. And, um, Hope you enjoy. So I've been walking for a little bit and I think I mentioned, I think this part of campus is all living dorms. Um, newer ones on the right here and these older ones on the left. And they're sort of dotted all over. Um, ones on the left, these, they almost look like military style barracks. I wonder if there's a you know, McGuire Air Force Base and there's a bunch of bases around this area. But I wonder, or not a bunch, but McGuire is huge. Um, I wonder if at some point there was not some sort of military training or who knows anyhow okay i'm just gonna say it was probably a vicious rumor that there was a lake on out here i thought there was a pretty sizable lake like legit like not not a uh not some small one dug with shovels and little fountain no this is a real lake down here so um, I can't seem to find it. Um, it's just like I mentioned, this is all the dorm area. These are dorms. Um, so I'm going to hop in my car and drive to the main campus. I don't, as my, I don't have time to, as my mother would say, dilly-dally. Um, so I'm just going to try to be as efficient with my time as possible because the beach calls. First Division Three school that I've been to that has a looks like a roller hockey oops sorry roller hockey court kind of nice. Okay, this is kind of the side of the main campus. I think this and there's another building over there, just kind of ginormous science buildings. And I think I took a picture of it. There's a natural sciences building over there and I think this is kind of like the, where it starts to be the main the piano of this which is really nice I mean these look brand new this I think is that Hyatt Health Sciences building center there's a quad area and then a mirror copy of that science building I don't, I don't know if it's the same but uh or it has a different discipline in there but it's pretty cool it's connected to an older building and I um, don't know what either of those are, but I'm sure I'll find out. And then I'm going to head to that big massive building, that, see what that is. Well, it is a Sunday after all in August 
and there's looks like their campus center is closed which most certainly means no hat for me I'm not sure if it's intentional, but I'm sure everyone is familiar with the Jersey Shore boardwalks. And this looks like a boardwalk, although it's not, but it looks like one. I'm coming off the boardwalk here uh, that's running through the university. There's sort of like a one main building that's, well, it's actually connected, individual buildings that are connected that goes straight. And then there's the campus center to the right. Um, ah, I forgot Richard, Richard Stock, Stockton was a signer of the Declaration of Independence, I believe. Um, so hence his fame and the university being named after. Um, yes, this was known as Richard Stockton College as well, and they do have graduate degrees, so I think now the official name is Richard Stockton University. Um, yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna go find my, my horse and Right on over to the soccer field. Let's see if I can't find it. I don't know where I'm at, and everything is so, like, really spread out. Um, you know, the walk from the dorms must be key large. So, okay. I just drove from uh, the, came from the north side, drove down to the center part of campus, got some pictures and whatnot, and now I'm, it's not very far, it's, I mean, it's not, you, you could e easily walk it, I'm just, like I said, I'm time constrained, but now I'm sort of at the athletic facilities, which is where I think the soccer team plays, but, yeah, unfortunately, it is all closed off because of, it looks like they're redoing the field. I don't know. Let me try to wander out. Um, and this thing right here looks like to be the gym. Um, I don't think I'll be able to get in because it is Sunday. Uh, you know, so. And now uh, students aren't on campus yet, I don't think. But let me check this out. Hey, yeah, so bummer. Um, this, I think this is the field. It's a track, has a track, but it's all torn up as you can see. Um, I don't think there's another place. It looks like they're probably putting turf down. weeks maybe to do it so anyhow um, yeah the benches would be over on that side you can see them pushed to the side and you can see the soccer goals over there and that are the bleachers I confess I'm kind of bummed just kind of looking forward to seeing a cool field but um, I'm, I'm sure they're making improvements to the to it uh, you notice the track is freshly laid so I'm sure it'll look pretty killer when it's done but I guess I'll have to come back down and as I mentioned that's the gym uh, I'm gonna see if those doors are open but I am highly suspicious that they are. all right so I think I'm done from walking around and because the beach calls and I got uh, a couple simple players waiting to go so, um, anyhow, you, the, the, the campus itself is, I mean, has plenty of room, well spread out. The facilities look, for all intents and purposes, 
I mean, the major ones look brand new. And you can see a lot of work's been going into the school and the, you know, you could see they're unfortunate for me for being here that, you know, the field is getting redone, but that's a good thing ultimately, right? But it definitely guarantees I have to get down here since it is 30 minutes from, from my house, from my beach house. And then, um, yeah, maybe even catch a game. I didn't realize it was this close until I decided to pull over and check it out. But, uh, yeah, so, all right, thanks for joining me today on this episode of Fields of Dreams. I do appreciate you tagging along and all the support. Shout out to all the folks who have been encouraging me along the way and just feeling, it is Sunday, just feeling really grateful for, for you guys watching. So, um, and to your Osprey, Osprey, Osprey fans out there, um, hope I did you your school justice and definitely have to make it down again and maybe get a better tour understanding of sort of where I'm at and do a second episode. All right. Thanks and hope to see you on your campus sometime soon.